Hi there, welcome back to the Social Television Network. I'm Chris Caraggio, joined today by Patrick Lannan. He is the practice manager over at Dignity Health Sleep Center and Lana Licklider, the practice manager at Dignity Health Weight Loss Center, both at Mercy Gilbert Medical Center. Guys, thanks so much for being here. Thanks, thanks for having us. Thank you, you. Got, you got it. Okay, today we're talking about using weight loss surgery, bariatric surgery, to treat sleep apnea. But before we get into all that, what exactly is sleep apnea, Patrick? Sleep apnea is a serious medical condition where the person stops breathing in their sleep and it leads to further health complications such as hypertension, stroke, heart attack, fatigue, if it's not treated. Yeah, very serious. And, and a lot of people don't realize they have it, right? Most people don't. Many pe people are in denial or have their bed partner let them know that they are uh, stopping breathing and it, it's a concern. It's, it's snores or non-snores? Snores or not. Mm -hmm. What about obesity? Where does that play in? Obesity is a, is a risk factor, not the only risk factor, but it, it definitely can play a role in sleep apnea. Okay. Uh, Lana, the patients that come to your weight loss center, Sure. Uh, where does sleep apnea fall in with these patients and do they know they might have right. sleep apnea? Well, we know there's a direct correlation between sleep apnea and obesity. So many patients who come through the door don't even realize that they have sleep apnea. We screen them at the weight loss center for a set of criteria to see if they're an appropriate candidate for a sleep test. So once these patients are sent to the sleep lab and we've identified that they have sleep apnea, then we're able to treat that with a CPAP machine until mm. surgery. I get it, I get it. And tell me about this sleep test. Sleep test is a one night procedure in our sleep center, very comfortable, painless procedure, monitored by a trained technologist, and we can diagnose all sleep disorders, including sleep apnea. Okay, okay. So w when that's all taken care of, Lana, and they, they come back and, um, okay, yes, they have sleep apnea, but they want uh, this bariatric surgery. Do we know that the, uh, there is a direct correlation to a cure? If they have this surgery, then sleep apnea can indeed be cured? Absolutely. We know that bariatric surgery is directly tied to the cure of sleep apnea. When those patients start losing weight, their sleep apnea usually resolves itself along with other, the, the other comorbid conditions, diabetes, hypertension, different variables like that. Mm -hmm. Patrick, do, do you have to be obese to have sleep apnea? Obesity is not the only determining factor, but it does play a role in sleep apnea. Like she said, we do follow up sleep studies after the weight loss surgery, mm. and oftentimes the apnea is, if not resolved, greatly reduced. All right, that is great news. So folks, if any of this information uh, you found interesting if for you or someone you know, there's a link right there on your screen. Go ahead and click that or call the phone number. Patrick, Lana, thank you so much. Thank you. Great stuff. And folks, we'll see you next time.